SWAT T, Stretch Wrap and Tuck Tourniquet. The SWAT T tourniquet from Tim's Solutions is a unique multi-purpose medical device. The wide elastic band construction of the SWAT T has been clinically shown to function effectively at lower pressures than traditional windlass style tourniquets. This means less potential for injury to the patient and less pain from the tourniquet. The SWAT T's unique design allows it to serve as a tourniquet, pressure dressing, and elastic wrap among numerous other potential uses. The intuitive stretch, wrap, and tuck method is easily learned and retained by non-medical personnel and medical providers alike. The SWAT T is compact, lightweight, and economical at less than half the cost of other tourniquets on the market. In use and proven at home and abroad, the SWAT T is ideal for military, law enforcement, EMS, K9, pediatrics, and residential applications. For a list of authorized resellers and further information, go to www.swat-t.com. Open the package. The twist-snap method of opening has been found to be the simplest and fastest method of removing the SWAT T from its packaging. Tightly grip the SWAT T overhand with thumbs to the center and turn your hands forcefully in opposite directions. The SWAT T packaging also has six tear points located on the sides of the package, allowing for traditional horizontal opening at the top, bottom, or center of the package. Pressure Indicator Markings The SWAT T can serve as both a tourniquet, a device that stops blood flow to a limb, and a pressure dressing, a device designed to cover a wound and apply pressure. There are markings located along the exterior of the SWAT T that visually indicate the amount of pressure being applied and thus in which mode the device is functioning. The more the SWAT T is stretched when wrapping around the limb, the more pressure it will apply. This will be indicated by the oval markings becoming circles and the diamonds in the center of the ovals becoming squares. Concurrently, the strip of rectangles above the ovals will become a strip of squares. When the SWAT T is used as a pressure dressing, it should be wrapped tightly enough to apply pressure to the wound, but not so tightly that the ovals, diamonds, and rectangle strips distort to the tourniquet pressure indicator shapes. Tourniquet. When used as a tourniquet, the SWAT T should be applied between the wound and the body tightly enough to stop all blood flow to the limb. Be sure to overlap the first wrap of the tourniquet to secure it in place. Subsequent wraps should be tight enough to stop blood flow as shown on the pressure indicator marking. On the final wrap, remember to place your fingers underneath the SWAT tee to provide a place to tuck the tail of the tourniquet in order to secure it in place. If you forget to do this, do not unwrap the tourniquet. Simply locate the edge of a previous wrap and pull it up to make room to securely tuck the tail underneath. It is accepted that it will be difficult to wrap the tourniquet without some twisting or bunching in a real-world application. Nevertheless, every effort should be made to apply the SWAT T as flat as possible since less pressure is required to stop blood flow with a wider tourniquet. A wider tourniquet is also safer and more comfortable for the patient. Never remove a functioning tourniquet simply to straighten a twisted or bunched up section. In the unlikely event that bleeding continues, a second SWAT T can be applied above, below, or directly on top of the first SWAT T. Placement. Ideally, you want to expose the limb and visually identify the source of bleeding in order to place the SWAT T between the wound and the body. In some circumstances, visual identification of the wound location may not be practical. In those instances, the SWAT T should be placed as high on the limb as possible. Be aware that a patient may have multiple wounds and that careful monitoring should be continued after tourniquet application to ensure that all bleeding is controlled. Always double check the tourniquet application after you move a patient. Pressure dressing. Some wounds, 
such as those high on the arm or leg or in the groin, are not amenable to tourniquet placement. These wounds should be treated by packing with a hemostatic agent or gauze and then utilizing the SWAT T as a pressure dressing. The purpose of the SWAT T in this instance is to apply pressure to the packing material and to protect the wound from further contamination. Be aware of how tightly you wrap the SWAT T in this application and check the pressure indicator markings. The tourniquet application band is a patient information device located in the center of the rolled SWAT T which can be applied to the patient's wrist. Once bleeding is controlled, you may fill out the tab with appropriate patient care information such as tourniquet application time, heart rate, blood pressure, blood type, and whether radial pulses are present. Please note that transport of a critical patient should not be delayed solely to complete the tab.